here with former heavyweight contender Courage Shabalala, <laughs> my man. What's up, baby? How have you been, man? I'm good, man. I'm good. Really good. And you're here uh, now, a trainer at Irons Fitness yes, in I Santa Monica, California. Yeah, we got you know a few kids that come through. I also, I mean, I run the boxing, so I'm the boxing director, but I also scout fighters, you know, um, like kids like Quigley, you know. I, I, I introduced him and brought him to to um, to Shea Sports, you know. So um, and we still got more kids coming, so just more. Fun. Now talk to us about your fight career because you're one hell of a fighter. You're exciting. You're fun. You, I love you, man. I remember seeing you on USA Today. <laughs> Thank you, man. Um, you know, uh, for me, it came. I came at a time when the heavyweight division was loaded. You know, and um, I mean, I think we had like three tiers of fighters. You know, we had the people like the Holyfield, the Mike Tyson's up there, and then you get a whole bunch of. Um, superstars coming up, you know, uh, David Tua, Andrew Galata, myself in that mix, you know, and then you get gentlemen that were even tougher, you know, when you talk about people like Bert Cooper, you know, it, it was just loaded, you know, and uh, so during that time, I mean, I, I enjoyed my, my time with, with the boxing, with the uh, heavyweight division, you know, but um, um, it, it was just a different, different animal back then. Yeah, I mean, it's not the same nah, it's not like the same. it was Definitely. back then. Close. Well, what are your thoughts on today's heavyweights? So you got uh, Tyson Fury, who's a champion who took uh, Vladimir Klitschko's titles. And then you have Anthony Joshua, which I feel he's the truth. I think he's the real deal. So, uh, we followed, because of the program with uh, All-American Heavyweights, with Michael King, the program that produced um, Dominic Brazil and uh, uh, Charles Martin. I, I worked for that program. And we kept track of a lot of... Um, Amateur fighters, but heavyweights especially. Joshua was one of the kids that was the favorite. Even before you, you won the gold medal, we knew that you know that he was one. You know, um, th there was a few others. They had a kid from uh, Azerbaijan, I think, and also a Chinese heavyweight who was South Pole. You know, so so we kind of kept you know um, track of all those heavyweights. Meaning, uh, um, for Joshua to win a gold medal and come out on top, it was expected. Him, you know, um, I didn't think it was going to be as easy a road as it is, but he had a lot of competition. So hopefully he brings that same competition into the pros because that's what's lacking right now. The Klitschko's were on top for so long, they, they had nobody. You know, I mean, you got to have somebody to challenge you and prove that you and upgrade your status as a champion. I mean, you know, Ali, the Frazier's, the Ken Norton, the George Foreman. You know, what I mean, so especially in the heavyweight division, you need opposition that's credible. Now, we fast forward, come to Klitschko and, um, and Tyson Fury. That was a terrible fight to me. Terrible. For the first four rounds, they just fainted each other, fainted each other, you know? I wasn't impressed at all. It was terrible. So, so that's what the heavyweight division has come up to, you know? So well, hopefully, I'm not saying it's totally um, dead, but I'm, there's, there's promising out there. You see specs of guys, you know? I think Joshua and Brazil are gonna put up a good fight. You know, um, you see all those guys, um, uh, I like what also the WBC is doing with uh, the kid that was supposed to fight uh, uh, Dante Wilder, you know. Alex yes. Alexander Povolk yeah. Povolkin, Povolkin, yeah. Got, got suspended, you know. So it makes the build credible more, because I think the WBC right now is the most credible build. Yeah, they postpone yeah, the Yeah, you know, so, so, so the guys are being held accountable. We need to clean up and go back to the natural order of things that we're doing in boxing. We don't want to reinvent a, a, a wheel, you know, so. So, uh, um, I mean, let's see what, it, you know, time will tell. I mean, that's true about the WBC because um, any fighter, any professional fighter that decides to participate in the Olympics, which I don't think professional fighters should be participating in the Olympics, they will ban you for two years. Wow, I didn't yeah. know that. I think that's smart, though, because they shouldn't have professional fighters no. fighting uh, amateur kids. So, uh, no, no, you know what? It doesn't even make sense. Even, uh, even on a business standpoint, it doesn't make sense. You know, um, picture Mike Tyson fights in uh, Lennox Lewis at the Olympics for the gold medal. These are thirty million dollar fighters. It's not. It's not gonna work. You know, um, it might be good. You know, good publicity. But at the same time, I'm still against um, amateurs fighting with no hand hand gear mm -hmm. gears. Because uh, I um, I went to Philadelphia at one of the uh, qualifiers, uh, Olympic qualifiers, and these kids, they were getting cut. You know, uh, a lot of them were getting cut, and even if you get cut and win the fight, 
and your coach fights you again tomorrow or your coach decides not that's to fight true. you. That's you true, that's true. But you are mature. When you turn pro, that card is going to come back. You know what I mean? So it's always... So most coaches that... Um, experienced coaches and some agree with me, they, they don't send their kids anymore, you know. So, so now, not only is the amateur going to suffer, it's going to suffer because of that. Now let's go back to the hot topic of Anthony Joshua. Now there's a lot of unanswered questions. I mean he's only 16 and 0 with 16 knockouts, but when he fought undeserving at the time IBF heavyweight champion Charles Martin, I mean the guy obliterated uh, Martin well, within two rounds. Uh, listen man, he, they were not even in the same league, not even in the same vicinity, to, if, if, you, if you want to be frank about it. Um, I think he's still very young to, 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 uh, to determine what's going to happen. I think if, because of his selling power, they're going to baby him, which is a smart thing to do until he matures. Um, I also think he shouldn't be overlooking Dominic, you know, because Dominic, I know him from the gym, he's been tested before, battle tested. You know, we saw him in his last fight, he got dropped, he got up and fought. Dominic can fight on the inside, you know, you, you wouldn't think that for a big guy. <coughs> I mean, he might Riddick be... Riddick used to do the same yes. thing. Yes, Riddick Bo was sharp. He fought Good all the guys fighter. on the inside. I mean, uh, so Dom does well on the inside that I've seen, you know, he's also um, somebody who's very hungry and feels that he should have been there instead of Charles, of which I agree, you know, if Charles and Dom had fought, I got Dominic on that fight winning. You know. So you get, you're so giving this uh, Dominic test. Brazil a, a good chance at oh, yes, absolutely. upsetting the odds. Yes, yes, yes. Look, he's got to survive four rounds. Oh boy, because Dominic is a slow starter. I know that. He's got to survive four rounds with, Do with Anthony Joshua, and then after that he can just cruise. I, I think he will. Let's talk about uh, another lovable heavyweight from the 90s. Did you ever train with him, Frank Bruno? I never trained with Frank. I never had the opportunity to train with Frank. I trained with guys like uh, uh, Tim Witherspoon and all that. Ah, and Tim Witherspoon. Uh, yeah, One hell of a hitter, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so all those Philadelphia fighters, you know, um, uh, fighters uh, like uh, the Galara, Andrew Galaras, that spent a lot of times with David Tua, you know, who, who was my stablemate, still my best friend to today. Um, just, uh, there was a pool of fighters, you know, just a pool of fighters. So uh, it's been a... Um, Great one. Courage, do you have a Twitter account where fight fans can follow you, Instagram, oh, any of yes. that? So let's go to uh, Courage71, on, uh, Courage underscore 71 on Instagram. All right, my man. Thank you. Thank you very much. I should sing it.